Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malentrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us for this segment, we have Ben Jones, Senior Index Specialist with NASDAQ Investment Intelligence, to discuss the KBW NASDAQ Banking Index. And Ben, certainly a hot topic with the banks when we think about interest rates, isn't it? That's right. I mean, banks are back in the picture right now as everyone is trying to figure out what's going to happen to interest rates. And, you know, over the last few months, you started to see bank stocks appreciate because it looks like, you know, the Fed might slow down their bond purchases and we might begin to see interest rates rise. And in fact, they have. If you look at the near term, this is looking at the 10 year yield. Uh, we've seen it turn around and, and turn positive and, and start to move higher, still below its 2020 high, but well above its March 2020 low and August 2020 low. So we're beginning to see interest rates rise on the, the longer side of the yield curve. Um, this is interesting, right? Because if these long term rates begin to rise and the spread between long and short term um, interest rates widen, then we could see more or higher profitability uh, for many of these banks out there, right? Because you see wider spreads between loans and deposits. And so uh, what this means is that we've seen the market respond favorably um, in a sense that we started to see bank stocks appreciate because of this development. And you know, that's why, it's, why we're talking about it today. And Ben, let's take a look at your second slide here where we can see the composition of the KBW NASDAQ Banking Index. What kind of banks would you see in there? Yeah, you're going to see large cap banks, right? So this is an index designed to track really the you know 24 largest bank stocks in the U.S. right across money centers and regional banks. And um, if we look at the the names in it, uh, they're household banking names, right? Um, U.S. Bank, J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, you name it. Um, and this is where the index tilts, right? Over half, or excuse me, over about 60% of the index leans towards the 10 uh, largest names in the index. So um, it's definitely you know heavy weighted in that sense. But again, tracking the U.S. Uh, bank sector. Uh, for those interested, this is an index that is tracked by an ETF, the Invesco KPW Bank ETF, KPWB. Uh, we also have a whole host of other, you know, KPW Nasdaq indexes that really allow you to track and access the financial sector, ranging from equity REITs to broker dealers, the bank sector, asset management. Um, but overall, when we think about this index, it's going to be those large cap bank names, uh, those household names that we're all familiar with. Yeah, it certainly is one of the more widely followed indexes, Ben. How has it performed? It's performed well, right? When we take a step back and look at the past um, couple years, we see that it's in positive territory. Um, we have certainly seen a strong run this year, uh, or you're just looking at this index over time. Um, so performance is good, and I think that's the big question, is that can this continue? And you know, if we start to see kind of favorable interest rate conditions, then you know, the answer could be yes. Uh, so taking a step back and looking at September, for those Broadway fans out there with the, the old Fantastics musical, it was a September to remember, right, where grass was green and grain was yellow. But we know October is different. Um, we know that the, the change of the agrarian cycle. We know that it's been a volatile month. We know that we have earnings coming up. And we know in November the Fed is meeting again, and they could uh, maybe you know change what the market is expecting, where we might not see – um, an end of some of this bond purchase. We might not see a slowdown in the bond purchases, which could provide a headwind for uh, rising interest rates, which could impact the bank sector. But for now, we see it moving in a positive direction. We see improvement, and it was certainly a September to remember for bank stocks. All right. Grass is green and grain is yellow. I'm totally stealing that line. Ben, thanks for joining us as always. I'm Jill Malentrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.